Edward R. Showalter Jr. just wanted to serve his country. Born in 1927, he was barely too young to serve in World War II, but that didn't stop him from trying. Germany surrendered even as Showalter prepared to ship out as a merchant marine. Showalter's commitment to serve didn't end with World War II. He excelled at the Virginia Military Institute and accepted an Army commission as a second lieutenant upon graduation, completing his officer's basic course at Fort Benning, Georgia. And in March of 1952, Lieutenant Showalter left for Korea. Showalter served in Korea with Company A, 31st Infantry Regiment, 7th Infantry Division, where casualty rates brought him to the position of executive officer by August of 1952. In October, 1st Lieutenant Showalter led one prong of the attack on Triangle Hill as part of Operation Showdown, an attempt to redraw battle lines that hadn't changed for almost a year. As the battle began, the Chinese struck with an astonishing concentration of fire. Showalter's determination embodied his commitment to serving his country. I realized this is what I'd trained for over a year, what I'd wanted to do for over five years. The men depended on me. I couldn't let them down. Showalter led his platoon against the odds and against the fire. Almost immediately, bullets grazed his hands and ankle, but he kept on going. His men followed his example, with even the wounded fighting on. Showalter took a sniper's bullet to the head, his helmet saving his life, but not his consciousness. When he came to, a bullet lodged above his left ear. He left behind the medics and rejoined the fight. When a grenade added shrapnel to his right side, he again left the medics behind to rejoin his men. It took a Chinese machine gun to stop him, the bullet shattering his forearm and knocking him unconscious. Mistaken for dead, Showalter awoke in a pile of fallen Chinese soldiers. Once he was able to struggle free, he checked on his men who had secured their objective, at least in the short term. Only then did Showalter surrender to the medics, and after months of hospitalization and a Medal of Honor around his neck, Edward Showalter Jr. still wanted to serve his country. Showalter later completed airborne training and commanded a battalion in the 82nd Airborne Division. He served two tours of duty in Vietnam and was wounded three more times. Colonel Showalter retired in 1977, recipient of a Silver Star and two Purple Hearts. Showalter was a father of five, settling in Auburn after his retirement. He died on November 21, 2003 and rests at the Fort Benning Post Cemetery. With the example of his life and courage, even today, Edward R. Showalter Jr. serves his country and inspires those who fight for her freedom.